Uh, sir, why don't you just use real cows? Cows don't look like cows on film. You gotta use horses. Hello? Hi, I'm Stuart Morris. I'm cycling to every large town near me in order to send me distance and rating them with the end goal of reaching Flamborough. This is your review. And so we began once more, with the usual scenery we see when we go eastwards. Today I was early enough to catch some dog walkers, who kindly warned me of glass on the path. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I see it. <laughs> Cheers. Although where these ladies found this cone is its own mystery. Instead of heading in the usual Pocklington direction, Google Maps pulled me to a shorter southern route. While this isn't my favourite type of terrain, I will say it was far more pleasant than cycling through a golf course. I did feel a little weird passing through farms though. To my great relief, the muddy path soon gave way to more acceptable trails. We're on the road to Hessel today. Hessel's one of the few towns that's sort of in the same general area as Hull but aren't Hull. We've got, uh, we've got Hessel, Willoughby, Barton upon Humber. These towns are all really close to each other, but they're separate towns on my list, so got to do the trip separately. I had a bit of exciting development. When I got home from Doncaster, I realised that my back tyre had gone flat. But, using my newfound tyre fixing skills, I've managed to uh, patch up the puncture without even replacing the inner tube, and it seems to be holding. We'll never have to fear a flat tyre again, because I can fix them. In other news, today is Sunday, 25th of October, which means that the clocks have changed. It's going to be the first dark night. Now, the sunset is before 5 o'clock today, and I don't normally get back until about 7. So I have two hours of night cycling. I'm going to have to make good use of my caving helmet light torch thing. <laughs> the cycle was going well. The pains of Doncaster were far behind me. I was then directed to a pretty busy looking road. From a quick scan on Street View the night before, I'd confirmed there was a cycle path on it, but I was still nervous. No, surely not. Surely I can't go on that road. Are you sure about this Google Map? Well, that's what Google Map says. With the app's blessing, I delved onto the A63. As I slowly progressed, I felt a sense of panic building up inside me. There wasn't a cycle path to be seen, and this was no road for cyclists. Yet Google Maps told me to keep going. No. No, I'm exercising common sense here. Stop this! No way am I doing this. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. I hopped over the metal bar and walked my bike to safety. Now then, there'll be those of you wondering, why am I still using Google Maps? Why didn't I learn from my mistakes when I did Doncaster? What, what else am I supposed to use? It's not like people are mapping out the cycle routes from York to Hessel. I need to find out my own cycle routes and I don't know the cycle paths. So I'm kind of stuck. How, how do you get to Hessel? So my first thought is maybe there is a cycle path that I'm just not seeing. I'm on top of the bridge now. Have a look at this. Got a single cycle path in sight. Why does Google think that there's an appropriate path for a cyclist to go on? I have no idea. I'm gonna have to go off maps. I mean, I'm still gonna use Google Maps, but I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can stitch a route together from roads to sort of the next to this one. I've come too far to turn back. And so I forged my own path around the three-lane A road. This turned out to be a colossal detour. I may be the first man in history to cycle through this forest. At least, on the way to Hessel. My shortcut did eventually pay off, and I spied Hessel on the horizon. Oh wow. Look at that. 
Beautiful. Have a humble break. The end was in sight, but the size of my extension soon became apparent to me. Do you want to know how ridiculous this detour is? I'm currently closer to Willoughby than I am to Hessel. Willoughby is a town in a future episode. I am closer to a town which is further away from my house than Hessel is. And finally, after a rather sketchy cycle, I triumphantly pulled into the car park of Hessel's co-op. Hessel is a former shipbuilding town on the north bank of the Humber River. In modern times, it's home to the Hessel Feast, an annual event which attracts thousands of residents, with live music, talent contests, and even world record attempts. Hessel, more like hassle, because this place was a nightmare to get to. Honestly, I don't know which one I'd rather do again, Doncaster or this one, because they were both just not like anything that I've had since a very long time. Hessel Town Centre is quite nice, but to get to the truly impressive parts, you need to travel a few minutes south. It's not the sea, but it's a start. Humber River. Oh, did I mention? There's a bridge there as well. Built in 1981, the Humber Bridge spans 2.2 kilometres long and connects the towns of Hessel and Barton upon Humber, which is episode 25 of my series. When it was first built, the Humber Bridge was the longest single span suspension bridge on the planet, even longer than the Golden Gate Bridge. It's still the longest bridge you can cycle over. It's an incredibly long bridge, and they say it takes about 40 minutes to walk the full length. It's actually the only way that I can reasonably get to Barton upon Humber because the Humber River stretches very far across the south side of Yorkshire. When you're done staring at bridges, you can come and have a look at the Black Mill. The windmill was built in around 1810. The mill on the inside was used to crush down chalk into a substance called whiting which was used for paint, filler, rubber, and lots of other things during the Industrial Revolution. I imagine about 100 years ago, it would look quite impressive just standing there. It's a lovely great bridge to contend with. I was running low on daylight, but I decided I couldn't leave without checking out the Humber Bridge Country Park. The country park is beautiful. I wish I could stay here longer. It's going to be dark when I go back anyway, but I'd rather minimise the time I'm cycling in darkness, especially on busy road. I'm on something called the cliff trail at the moment. I don't think I'll see any cliffs on a short walk, but I might eventually. I have the feeling that this place is huge and would warrant a full visit on its own. Hessel is a beautiful area. When I first came here, I thought it would just be the bridge, and that's it. But there's so much cool stuff around the bridge too. You have the mill, you 
going off this stunning park, which is massive, by the way. The only thing that's holding Hessel back from having a higher score is the town centre. Compared to what I've seen out here, the town centre was, well, very small. There was just a square in the middle with some shops around. I mean, this is only about a 30 minute walk away from the centre, but it's, but it's still quite a small town, but with some really cool things in it. And that's why I'm going to give Hessel a to give it the score I gave it in the last clip. Looking at this, this is just next level beautiful. It's time to set a new precedent. I'm going to give Hessel a Yorkshire out of Yorkshire. I hope that if you find no local artist for a town, then you will write your own song. Hmm. I wonder what Dom's up to. Oh Hazel, oh Hazel, you service my vessel Your functions are vessel, and I must confess Oh, you're the wonder of the humber for me I knew there was something wrong about Rotherham. I knew it seemed a bit too far away. I've looked into it, and, well, there's some bad news that I found. Here is the original York Review list. This is where I've written down all the towns that I'm doing and all the distances that I'm covering. And they're ordered in terms of the time it would take for me to cycle to them. Um, which is why I didn't see it straight away. Um, it turns out that these times are very path dependent and not that accurate and Rotherham is actually further away than Flamborough is. So if I was sticking to the rules of the series, I'd have to do Rotherham after Flamborough. It wouldn't be the 48th town, which flies in the face of what I said in the intro. York Review has failed. In fact, it's already failed. I know this because um, it's been staring me in the face the whole time. I'm cycling to every large town near me in order of ascending distance. So that's it. It would just be a lie to continue it at this point. I, I, I don't know what to do. I do wonder what the real list would look like if I was to order these rigorously. Maybe there's still something I can do here. So that's it then. 53 towns. I did say in the first episode that I was only going to do 48. But, if I got rid of the tier 5s, then I get back to 48 towns. There's still a chance I can do this series. Order of Ascending Distance, Flamber is the 48, I just use a new list. Fantastic! Your move, Yorkshireman. Your move.